So uh, tonight it's all hits. Yes, all broken hope hits. One hundred, one hundred percent, absolutely. Now you guys, uh, it was at O two or O four that you ended it. Uh, right around O two, things were really uh, coming apart. You know, in around the year two thousand, we ended things on a high note. We had a really successful european tour um but that was with me and a h- bunch of hired hands See. right right when grotesque blessings our fifth album came out we had already lost a couple of key members before we went on tour for that album our singer joe thiacek quit the band i scrambled to get a vocalist to fill in because we had all these dates booked and uh, uh my philosophy has always been the show must go on i've never canceled a tour or, or dates or anything so um, in hindsight, I probably should have because I didn't, I didn't uh, have have the right people in the band to do the job. It just it was it wasn't it wasn't fun. And one and finally, it took a couple of years after that last tour just to feel things out. Try to me, I tried to salvage some stuff, and I finally said, I'm not going to sully or dirty the Broken Hope name, uh, if you want to call it the Broken Hope brand. I really feel that. If you hear um, a Slayer album, for example, you know what you're going to get. And it's important to me that um, people, fans, know when they hear Broken Hope, they're going to get a Broken Hope album. You know what I mean? So, And as an artist, I want to I stay true to what's in my heart and what I'm passionate about. And I'm passionate about Broken Hope. I'm passionate about our brand of death metal. Right. And it's... I always say it's in my DNA. It's ingrained in my blood and my soul. So that's why, boop, I hung it up for 12 years. And it was going to take the right formula, the right chemistry, the right people who actually were going to... I don't want hired hands. I want people that were going to be in it for the long haul. And that's what I've got now. If I had this lineup in the 90s, dude, we probably would have 20 albums right now because everybody's friends and everybody is in it for the right reasons and um it's a dream come true this lineup is the dream come true it's the ultimate broken hope for me you know what i mean that's awesome you have a new singer of course because uh the last one passed away yep uh of gore guts is that correct gorgasm oh gorgasm Gorgasm. yep yep how could i possibly Get those two confused. Hey, man, there's a lot of gore going around. Swamped in gore from Broken Hope. (laughs) Gorgasm, gore guts, you know. Wait, we love gore, man, so it's all good. So have you been able to... There's a lot of newer bands, which the old uh, old school death metal uh, fans would probably want to piss on. Uh, But death metal seems to have carried on quite well in the year 2012 with the newer bands, which, of course... uh, you know, giving it their own little mark. Uh, there's bands such as uh, Chelsea Grin. Uh, I don't know if Attila is, but a lot of the newer bands who obviously are, you know, uh, the newer bands are for the newer fans and not so much the older bands for the yeah, newer fans. Right. It's just the way it is. You, It's a generational thing. It's it's. It, have you gotten a chance to hear any of the newer uh, some would even say popular death metal fans, death metal bands. Yeah, um, we we pay attention to um, all all new metal bands. Uh, you know, new death metal bands as not new metal bands. Um, and uh, and you're right. There, they these these ones that are hella popular that turn on this a whole new generation who don't know about you know the older old school bands. Um, I see that a lot, in it, and uh, it'd be great to tap into that audience. Because take Job for a Cowboy, for example. Uh, the guitar player, Al Glassman, he's a friend of ours. Huge Broken Hope fan. He has a Broken Hope loathing tattoo on oh, his wow. leg or something. He knows all our songs. And, um, in fact, he'd probably be playing lead guitar in Broken Hope right now if he wasn't committed to Job for a Cowboy. Wow. But that said... Um, that makes me happy one because I support new new death metal bands. Uh, I, the genre means the world to me. You know, I think death metal. I always fly that death metal flag high, so I never frown upon any any 
any new bands like the ones you mentioned too that are brand new and stuff um and i would like to just turn that audience on though to broken hope again we're kind of getting there because a lot of these audience members are like really young man they're in their they're in their 20s and stuff so maybe if the job for a cowboys and any other bands that say they're influenced by broken hope maybe they'll tell their fans hey you got to listen to these guys this is you know where this is one broken hope say jigsaw piece in 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 the classic death metal era and here they are today you know something like that one can only hope yeah one can only hope <laughs> oh, oh uh, speaking of <laughs> and uh um what was i gonna say uh now decrepit birth on this tour had their van catch on fire and burnt to the burnt asunder is that correct yeah we did a show in uh i believe it's Kelowna, british columbia and um unfortunately the van that these guys uh i believe it was their own van that they owned it wasn't a rental um unfortunately uh, it caught on fire. Uh, I think it was an electrical fire. Fire department came, hosed down the whole thing, hauled it away. So we brought the corrupted birth onto our tour bus. With all, we packed everything we could with all their merch, their gear. We got everything in, got them to Seattle, and then in Seattle, uh, which was the next show, the next day, they uh, uh, somehow they got new transportation and got hooked up that way. And now we're here tonight that. Uh they their van just got broken into around the corner and all their uh their clothing and their laptops and all that stuff has been ripped off yeah. they, they just get this news maybe 20 minutes prior to having to go on stage right before they go on stage um i just can't imagine it i feel so bad for those guys when their van caught on fire in british columbia i watched them on stage and i was thinking man what's going through their head you know i are they having even having a good time on stage it's terrible i've been through that before broken hope has had uh like our first one of our first tours opening for unleashed um we had our van broken into in iowa des moines iowa so uh that sucks man you know um it's and that's happened a couple times so i mean we've learned to load everything into any building we are so some crackhead or thief breaks into a vehicle uh, they got nothing to, to get, and you wow. know you, you walk away with a broken window or something. As far as your transportation catching on fire, I always think it's wise to rent because at least that way, anything happens, uh, you're not lo you're not losing your 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 uh, your own stuff, you know, your own transportation. So, I wish those guys the best. You know, we're here for them. Absolutely. Well, luckily, it's I suppose you could say it's not too far away from their homes. Yeah. They are from Santa Cruz. Now, a lot of great bands from Chicago, uh, obviously Broken Hope. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you uh, give uh, the top five Chicago bands to you? Well, going back, um, this would include underground bands um, out of Chicago, but um, I give props to uh, uh, Syndrome, which actually Sean Glass of Broken Hope came from. Um, uh, the new guys in Encrust, I really like them, man. They're uh, really they're good. really really good. They're very promising, and they're just the coolest dudes. So props to Encrust. Um, you know, uh, I I don't even know. You could call it industrial or metal or industrial metal. You know, Ministry kind of put Chicago on the map All with right. their own style. QET. Um, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Master, but you know, I guess they they're regarded so highly by some of the bands i love like napalm death and terrorizer I see, I see. so I, I give them an honorable mention you know right, um and then um there's been other great bands over the years that have come and gone there's a band called usurper there's uh an oh, yeah. old band called cyanide um just it, you know i think that those bands and and, and many more but that would be kind of my microcosm november's doom oh, is yeah. also a really cool band totally different they really like hold up the the doom metal side for of sure, stuff you know sure. what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so um i don't know props to all those guys you know the chicago metal scene period has always been healthy i mean take bands like you know trouble e-trope if you remember them oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. um pff, god on and on man you know there's just well, let's go you know on. yeah so they'll break it on 
Till the break of dawn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate being on Capital Chaos. This has been awesome. And um, Broken Hope is back, and we're back forever. That's all I got to tell you. So see you next time. Fucking A.